Hey guys, Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 things WWE censored. For this list, we'll be ranking the memorably infamous moments that aired live or during programming owned by the WWE that were later either censored or removed from services like the WWE Network or NBC's Peacock. We realize that content can occasionally be restored or restored with a disclaimer, but as of this writing, these moments needed to be visually sourced from places other than the WWE Network. Know any we left out? Let us know in those comments, and as always, if there's a wrestling list you want to see, go to my Twitter, AshJBo, and let me know. Number 10. Brock's Bird Flip – SummerSlam Audience members and home viewers alike likely remember this memorable and probably improvised spot between Brock Lesnar and The Undertaker during their match at SummerSlam 2015. The pair was only a year removed from Lesnar's infamous beating of Taker's streak and WrestleMania 30, so this matchup felt even more personal. Maybe this explains the familiarity between Brock and Taker. When the latter locks Lesnar up in his Hell's Gate submission hold, Brock flips the bid right in The Undertaker's face, in full view of the camera. However, future airings of this segment after that initial pay-per-view saw that bid blurred by the WWE. Number 9. JBL at the Border – WWE SmackDown NBC's Peacock streaming service has done a bit of pruning with their freshly acquired library of WWE content. As a result, some of the company's older, potentially insensitive content has been either censored or removed entirely, with more offenders likely lurking on the horizon. One promo you won't find on Peacock is this controversial one courtesy of JBL aka John Bradshaw Layfield. It was shot to build up Bradshaw's upcoming match with Eddie Guerrero at the 2004 Judgment Day pay-per-view and featured JBL at what was supposed to be the US-Mexican border. JBL lets loose with an anti-immigration diatribe and even kicks out a group of actors pretending to be Mexican families. It's, uh, well, it's something else. Number 8. Jericho Gives HBK A Hand WrestleMania 19 It's time for another bit of the bid, this time between two of the best wrestlers ever to step into the squared circle. The middle finger flashed by one Chris Jericho to the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels feels a bit different than the Brock Taker situation, in that it sort of feels more like an audible called by Jericho to add just a bit more heat to their match at WrestleMania 19. It's brief and probably shouldn't bat an eye, especially given where WWE had been thematically prior to this incident. Still, the brief exchange was taken off the home video release of WrestleMania 19, and the visual is missing on the WWE Network. However, the commentary team does acknowledge it verbally. Number 7. Undertaker on Fire – Elimination Chamber the WWE production crew usually loves to dwell upon the magical and methodical entrance of The Undertaker. However, the dead man's entrance to the 2010 Elimination Chamber will look just a bit different if you watch it on home video or on the WWE's streaming services. This is because Taker suffered severe burns when he accidentally came into contact with his pyro. If you were watching the live events, then you probably remember Taker hustling his way into the ring and continually dousing himself with water while waiting to enter the match. Nowadays, however, home viewers are spared the initial fracas and sent straight into the extra crispy Undertaker suffering for his art like a true badass professional. Number 6. Booker T Boo Boo – Spring Stampede one of the great things about WWE's massive library of owned content is how many amazing wrestling moments are included from other defunct federations. This moment from WCW's Spring Stampede event from 1997, however, yeah, good luck finding this one with the search function. That's because Booker T made one legendary boo-boo during a pre-match promo conducted by Mean Gene Oakland. With his tag team partner Stevie Ray and manager Sensational Sherry in tow, Booker T proceeds to lay into an energetic and aggressive speech before becoming a bit too excited and letting an infamous expletive fly. The kicker to the whole thing? Booker's instant recognition of what he's done, and how Sherry seems to echo that knowledge with her own facial expression. Whoops. 
Number 5. That's DX Parody WWE Raw This infamous segment from Monday Night Raw turned heads back in 1998, never mind in the modern day. So it sort of goes without saying that D-Generation X's Beyond the Pale parody of The Nation of Domination would be stricken from the Peacock record. The entire group was decked out in exaggerated cosplay of different nation members, which unfortunately meant that certain members of DX had put on blackface. It wasn't a one and done segment either, as replays of the incident were inserted and replayed throughout the year, including the promo package for Triple H and The Rock's matchup at the 1998 SummerSlam event. Nowadays though, definitely done. Number 4. The Rock Concerts WWE Raw Not even Dwayne The Rock Johnson is safe from the Peacock Axe apparently, as this fan favorite segment from Monday Night Raw was also edited and centered on its new NBC home. This one is strange because the Rock Concert segment, as it's become known by fans, is relatively harmless, especially compared to some of the other moments on this list. It's basically a bit of fun trash talk by Johnson to the Sacramento crowd and his opponent Stone Cold Steve Austin. There is one disparaging line about the female population of Sacramento, but there's an absence of malice that makes us question whether that's what influenced Peacock's decision. The vision on the service omits the song and cuts straight into Austin's interruption. Very weird. Number 3. Vince Says Something He Shouldn't Survivor Series Oh, you thought Booker T was going to be the only one on this list spouting off some sort of controversial epithet in front of the camera? Check again because this time it's actually the owner of the damn company. Yep, none other than Vincent Kennedy McMahon decided it would be funny to shoot a backstage promo segment with John Cena where he asks the doctor of thugonomics what's good in the hood. Before you can breathe a sigh of relief for the end of the cringe though, Vince goes overboard by dropping another word that we won't repeat. We'll just quote backstage on Look at Booker T by paraphrasing, tell us he didn't just say that. Number 2. Piper's Paint WrestleMania 6 There is a wealth of trivia regarding this very controversial match from WrestleMania 6. For starters, there's an elephant in the room about Rowdy Roddy Piper painting half of his body black prior to wrestling Bad News Brown. Piper's match and pre-match promo were removed from Peacock, skipped entirely and for obvious reasons. Additionally, there's the rib that Andre the Giant reportedly played on Piper, tampering with the special liquid that was designed to remove the sweat-resistant body paints after Piper's match. This meant that Roddy was stuck in this state for nearly a month before he was finally able to scrub the stuff off his body. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mickey James's Hand Gesture WrestleMania 22 The stalker angle between women's legends Mickey James and Trish Stratus was a creepy and well-executed bit of soap opera drama with one very infamous in-ring moment. It occurred during their match at WrestleMania 22 in 2006 when James grabbed Trish in a very, let's say, sensitive area. Mickey then turned towards the main hard camera and made a very specific and suggestively sexual hand gesture. The moment was censored almost immediately from WWE replays and continues to enjoy this status at the company's current home on Peacock. However, those who saw this salacious bit of scandal live likely have the image burned in their collective minds. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.